Hey, hey YouTube, hey YouTube family, hey YouTubers, hey, hey, uh, hey tube, tube dudes, um, ah, shoot, okay, so I was listening to, um, Anthony Acumia on that radio TV show that they have on the old YouTube TV, and, um, he seemed entertained by how deranged people have been getting over Donald Trump. And I was like, huh, maybe I should try that. Because I think as a sort of narcissistic, I might be a narcissistic um, person. It's kind of hard for me to handle the people who make all the entertainment that I love um, become more and more militant and uh, more and more committed to weird rhetoric and um, just more, more Marxist in general. I don't know about art Marxism, but you know, I listen to what smarter people than me say. And from what, anyway, who cares? Who cares what I think? I'm just telling you how I feel because I don't have thoughts. I'm basically an an idiot. So um, but <clears throat> he seemed entertained that people are so deranged right now, and so obsessive, and so militant, and and uh, uh, um, so um, 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 collectivist. And meanwhile, I'm getting all upset every time some game developer or whatever they like is like, we gotta get rid of toxicity, and we got, gotta, you know, uh, Trump, and Trump, and Trump, and anybody who votes for Trump is a monster, and if you're a monster, we don't want you. And if you're a racist, we don't want you to have a job. We don't want you to exist. It's basically, it kind of freaks me out because everything they say is about one step away from genocide because you don't oust people from society without either imprisoning them or killing them. That's the only way to do it right. If you don't do that, then they will continue to exist as they are. If you make speech or thought a punishable offense, they will end up uh, collecting, becoming their own kind of collectivist underground will then uprise and kill a bunch of people. Um, so I'm very much into speech. But uh, but since I'm like that, and since I'm kind of a narcissist, I kind of take it upon myself and it hurts me a little bit. I take it personally. Every time I hear a developer or an artist that I like just trash um, those kinds of people, even if I'm not like those people, because I know that my sense of humor uh, in a lot of cases can get me put in that kind of category can get me put in the category of a racist or whatever else and I also recognize I'm kind of a bad person and I've done a lot of bad things and I think that most people have done bad things men tend to do bad things that revolve around their dicks they say something inappropriate or in the worst case scenarios they just go out and use that thing without anybody's permission but in most cases, they just come on in a stupid way, do something stupid and embarrassing. Um, I know I've definitely embarrassed myself plenty of times. But, um, and women, they tend to to gather in their, their these, these more insidious gangs where you kind of look at it, you're like, well, they're not doing anything illegal. <laughs> but they're not really doing anything honest either. So there's my sexist perspective. And once again, because I have those kinds of ideas that people like that would lump in as with, you know, me having this kind of idea, men are like this, women are like this, that kind of gets me put into this category of, also, I hate minorities, and I hate, I hate being white, no wait, I love being white, and I hate, I hate people who aren't Trump, I just wish every person was Trump, for some reason, that's, the category I'm, I'm put into and once again that's kind of my narcissism because they're not talking about me but then it's like oh guess what you're also toxic well okay maybe I am toxic but I as a toxic person and maybe this is just me being narcissistic is um, I have a right to escape and I feel like video games and art music uh, television movies they all, uh, they all allow us to connect to each other, regardless of these stupid differences that are dividing us right now. And when you 
when you reject people as toxic instead of giving them a chance to exist especially especially because I'm not just talking about like banning somebody from playing a game I'm talking about they always go one step further They're like well let's try to get their job disappeared or whatever and the thing I'm also doing right now is I'm kind of projecting the activities of some people onto the 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 people who who uh <sighs> why am I so stupid I see that behavior a lot I see people like let's say this um, game developer let's just make a up, up a hypothetical game developer they'll speak out against racism fascism um, Nazism whatever else but they don't speak out against socialism people doxing people um, people going after each other like a mob and all these things happen in the name of the thing that these people also stand up for it's like okay if this matters to you why doesn't it matter to you that there's people who agree with you who are doing terrible things to each other who are doing terrible fascistic fascistic things to each other why doesn't it matter to you why 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 do you hate me why 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 won't you let me just play your game okay i'm not a, i just think every ra everybody should be racist and it's okay we should all fight with each other in a fun way and then we'll all realize we're the same we'll realize we're friends and we can all be friends why can't why can't we all just be friends